Scientists at the University of Minnesota say they made a big breakthrough in breast cancer. They've discovered the enzyme that causes mutations found in about half of all breast cancer patients. Heather Brown had a chance to talk to the researchers and an oncologist today about what this means. And it sounds very encouraging. It does, but we're talking about real results in a couple of years from now. But nonetheless, the researchers say this is still a big deal. Inside this biochemistry lab at the U, they're known for their HIV research. It just so happened in doing that, they made a big discovery in breast cancer. What we've identified is, is a cause of mutation in cancer. And by derivative, that means we've identified a cause of cancer. Dr. Ruben Harris and his team discovered a particular enzyme that most of us already have. They found that enzyme, though, to be quite prominent in about half of all breast cancer cases. So you're trying to figure out why it becomes a problem in some people and not in other people. Yeah, exactly. Now they want to figure out why and how that enzyme mutates into cancer. I think it's going to change the way people think about mutation. So before people thought of mutation as something that happens that we can't do anything about. You know, it's something our mom and dad gave us and whatever happens during our lives. But I think now we can really begin to think seriously about doing something about it. Health Partners oncologist Dr. Daniel Anderson this study is fascinating. Says this study is big. It tells him. Breast cancer is something that may be preventable. Uh, we would hope that in the future we could find drugs that would help block the effects of this protein and maybe stop development of the cancer. More research is needed, but if all goes as the researchers hope. If we could turn it all off by half, which is a big deal. I don't know if we'll ever stop every single case, but I think we can do a really good job cutting down the rates. Both the researchers and the doctor would like to see more testing first in animals, then in humans, and then hopefully a clinical trial in the years to come. Sure. Uh, can you put this in context, like in terms of breast cancer breakthroughs, where would this rank? Sure. You know, it really uh, depends. It's going to really come with time. At this point, it's hard to know until more testing is done, but both the doctor and the research hope that it's a really high breakthrough. They also say this is just a good example of federal money for fed, uh, medical studies being put to good use. Well, yeah, let's hope it leads to something Absolutely. really positive. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, Heather. Mm -hmm.